Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. What I am going to show you is uh, something called CAPM. Now CAPM, for those that don't know, is uh, one of the modeling types that we're using. It's some controversy around it, but uh, don't ask me on that. I'm not an expert, but I'm just gonna show you four quick demos that we know of from the MATLAB world. Uh, and this is 100% MATLAB from MathWorks, okay? So here's the code. Um, I'm gonna show you the four links where they come from uh, in a bit. Actually, I'll give you the links as well and uh, include the, uh, s this script uh, for my members. So let's get started. Um, actually, let me just walk you through what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna have three different, uh, three different, sorry, four different, um, uh, demos. Uh, the first one is we're going to demo, uh, let me just show you in the actual code. The first one we're going to do is demo a uh, market capital asset pricing model with missing data. Okay, and it's going to try to estimate um, beta and alpha. That's pretty well what I've seen it mostly used for is just estimating the beta. Okay. Um, as this keeps saying, I'm not going to go through the code, I'm just going to show you what it can do. And down the line, I will um, use it. Now, the only real thing I could see using this CAPM is specifically only for, as I said, uh, calculating the beta. Um, and uh, that's pretty well the only thing I've seen uh, used throughout all these different examples. So let me just set up um, all my breakpoints for each demo. Now I'll get into the next demo. All the other demos are more risk management, portfolio management uh, based. So let me just uh, set her up, get the first breakpoint. So the first breakpoint, we're gonna come in. There's all these different uh, uh, data um, called CAPM Universe. Um, we're just gonna grab all the uh, stock prices for 12 stocks. And then from there, uh, we're going to display, well, let me just uh, get to a point where it will display the alpha and the beta and the sigma uh, of each one where it uses uh, this regression analysis. Okay, so let me just get to that level. Let me just see where we can stop. Uh, let's stop it here. Okay. So, <coughs> so we have our cap demo running. Um, okay, so we're going to continue. So you can see it's already loading in these uh, various stocks, technical stocks, eBay, Google, HP, all that. And then it's going to just start before it iterates to calculate each of the alpha, beta, and sigma. So let me just go back into the code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it there. So I'm going to continue. So now it's calculating each one. Okay, and now it's gonna do another analysis. Um, group estimation of some technology stock betas. Um, and let me just run the whole thing. And these are the functions that do this, this ECM whatnot, standard deviation it looks like it's using. Uh, and uh, we'll stop it here. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Group regression with return data. So this is the actual data from a, a date range. Okay, so let me go to just the start of the second demo. So we're going to run it. So, okay, so what, what's happened there is it's again uh, done a regression on the daily uh, total return of, of a certain range of, of these particular stocks, again, alpha, beta, sigma. All right, so that's the simple uh, first demo. The second demo is, as I said, or are we, I don't know, yeah, so our, our second demo is uh, we're going to calculate, uh, and this is doing uh, an efficient uh, mean variance efficient frontier. So essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to try to 
uh, basically uh, construct. Um, let's see where we can go. Okay, so we're going to go through and calculate an efficient frontier and uh, calculate different uh, weights in a particular portfolio. And we're going to get the portfolio stats, basically the risks and returns of that. And uh, it's going to do a, um, a chart. So let me show you that. So it's going to stop at the next uh, demo. Okay, so that's the third demo. It's going to stop right, right at the start of that. So here's the um, efficient frontier of what it calculates and all the risk and return, um, expected return and the risk of uh, what can be happening for that particular uh, for that particular efficient frontier. All right, so that's uh, second demo. Third demo, we're going to try to do a risk adjusted return. Sorry, wrong one. So we're gonna do uh, an analysis on uh, portfolio selection and assess the risk aversion for it. Um, I don't think it's gonna have plot anything. It doesn't look like it. So let me just see what we have in our console so far. Nothing. Okay, so let me just continue to the next demo. Okay, so here's the chart and here's our expected return and again the risk and, and this is the overall portfolio performance and this is the in blue here what it calculates is the optimal risky portfolio so um, it calculates a riskless rate I'm just going to the code and show you that uh, so it has uh, expected returns number of portfolios are different uh, variances and then it will optimize the portfolios in this port opt function and then um, does an allocation based on that and then it will come back on what the looks like the uh, allocation of that portfolio should be all this stuff is not it's just redundant um, so start just before the risk return these are the uh, actual return uh, calculation, risk aversion, uh, borrow rate, and the riskless rate. Okay, so let's go to the last uh, fun, uh, demo here. This is fairly simple as well. Um, so we're just doing a stock adjusted return. And again, I give the links in the source code of the actual links um, to this with proper documentation, which is all this stuff, and I'll walk you through it all. That's using the cap M, so it can do some portfolio stuff as well as uh, calculating the the um, the uh, beta of a bunch of stocks as well. So let's just run this whole thing. Uh, I think uh, we just ran it. Yeah, we did. That's pretty simple stuff. So let me just try to walk you through it as best as I can. So it's gonna do a performance analysis on the uh, returns. Here's the fund uh, and, the, and it's calculating oh sorry it's loading in this uh, data file calculating all these and it's just going to basically uh, um, calculate the uh, this data on using this port, port alpha. So at the end of the day all I cared about was just showing that it runs. Now the key here is that we can use these for um, uh, passive because this is all risk assessment and portfolio assessment. So speed's obviously not a big concern here. Um, I do have another Excel add-in that I purchased that does a lot of this. And it's a lot more detailed. Um, again, that's available for my members. The, uh, the secret sauce of that. So uh, simple stuff, nothing exciting. Um, I have seen better demos of it in uh, R, in one of the R packages. But I mean, it's it's really mostly useful just for just for calculating, as I said, beta um, in in stocks from what I've seen. Uh, hopefully that will help you somewhat.